Now let us uh, talk about uh, the various parts of the interior. Let us start with core. Okay, I told you that the core uh, uh, is uh, uh, at the surface. We see a temperature of around five thousand eight hundred Kelvin. But interestingly, the core has a temperature of how much? Fifteen, fifteen. With after that, you will have to add six zeros. That means ten to fifteen into ten to the power six Kelvin. Can you imagine how big it is? How high the temperature is? And you know that this temperature. Is enough for starting what a very important reaction, energy producing reaction that is called nuclear fusion. Okay, so that means you see all the matter, all the matter. Basically, it is hydrogen, isn't it? Because you know that the very elementary element that is available in the universe is with which all the stars are formed is nothing but majority is. Is hydrogen. So here we have huge amount of material that is the hydrogen, and here the temperature is going up to how much? Around fifteen to ten to the power six Kelvin, which is very much good for um, uh, initiating a nuclear fusion reaction. So hydrogen means one proton and one electron. Now you see the temperature will be so high that all the matter here will be in the plasma form. Okay, everything here is in the Plasma form. What do you mean by plasma? It is the equal amount of positive and negative, positive and negative charges. If one positive charge, then there will be one negative charge. So if if we talk about hydrogen, what is there? One proton and one electron. So the temperature is so high that every atom will be broken. Okay, so it will release one electron. So immediately it will become an ion, positive ion, isn't it? And there is an electron. So that is nothing but proton and electron. So the core is nothing but a fluid or a plasma. Okay, plasma of protons and electrons. Is that clear? Now again, uh, I should also mention that the radius, the dimension is how much? Two into ten to the power five kilometer. Just imagine two lakhs kilometers is the radius of the core of the sun. Okay, forget about the rest of the part. Okay, whatever we see as a tiny sun in uh, whenever we observe from Earth, that is nothing but seven kilometers of mass. Okay, can you imagine how big it is if you consider a sphere? Although it is not as perfectly a sphere, but yes, for just general consideration, we are considering a spherical structure. So, uh, that's all. So, the core is the area where nuclear fusion. In sun starts, and you know that nuclear fusion is the source of energy production in sun. Okay, and there are a lot of magnetic twisting magnetic field lines which are which also you know uh, adds uh, to to the production of more energy. But mainly it is uh, the nuclear fusion reaction. So if somebody asks you that in which part of the sun the nuclear fusion is actually occurring, then your answer should be it is the core. Okay. So uh, now during the nuclear fusion, you know that that the plasma is so hot because of this this much of temperature. So the electrons and protons will be violently moving inside this area. Okay, they are violently moving inside this core. Forget about this. This area is not included. Only the red circle area. Okay, and they are moving at a very relativistic speed, means so nearly to the speed of light. Okay, and they will be colliding. You know, every protons and protons will be colliding with each other, and you know. That proton and proton, they are what positive and positive. So in normal situation, they are if if you have proton and proton, they are positive, so they will re repel each other. Coulomb repulsive force. But the temperature is so high, they will gain so much of energy, kinetic energy. Then they will be moving so fast, similar approximately to the speed of light, that they will start colliding each other, overcoming the Coulomb repulsive force. Okay. So and then they will stick together with the help of nuclear attractive force. Are you getting? So nuclear attractive force that proton and proton combines the what will be produced? Hydrogen, hydrogen. Then it will go to helium. So in this way they will keep on producing higher elements and at the same time they will be releasing gamma photons. Okay, they will be trying to release gamma photon. Understood. Next thing is that now you might that means uh, here it, it uh, the protons and protons are combining to produce heavier elements with the, along with the production of gamma photons. Okay, gamma ray photons. Now they can see that there is another layer surrounding this core that is called radiative layer. And what is the use of this radiative layer? The radiative layer, as you see, the dimension is around three into ten to the power five kilometer. Okay, so radiative layer, what it does actually, you see. 
this temperature at the core is what 15 into 10 to the power 6 kelvin now suppose imagine that there is no such kind of layer there is a normal layer then what will happen this gamma photons will be released okay they will move out isn't it so at that time what will happen it will not be able to produce enough amount of energy and the temperature will be reduced suddenly okay it will now you can understand the temperature the sun is producing that energy of 10 to the plus 6 watt that means this much of energy every time every second it is producing only because it is able to maintain the core isn't it if the core breaks down it will not be able to maintain that much of production of energy so if the energy production has to be constant what should be constant the temperature should be constant so if there is no radiative layer outside what will happen it will this all this energy will be released very fast and it will not be able to keep this 15 into 10 to the power 6 kelvin temperature constant for long amount of time okay so that means you can say that radiative layer is like a insulating layer just like we put hot water in a uh, thermosteel bottle you might have seen that if you keep the cup cap tight the water temperature doesn't go down but if you open it then what will happen the temperature will go down so the radiative is radiative layer is like the thermosteel bottle and this is like the hot water you i i hope you can understand that 